Ah, uh, today we're doing jellyfish. Um, that's it, jellyfish. You're gonna see the, you'll see the reading. You'll see the. All you're gonna do is take notes once again. Okay, no questions, just taking notes. Um, same thing that they're doing in class. Okay. All right. So jellyfish prefer to hang out in warm water. Uh, they've already heard this because once again I forgot to start it. Okay. The same as people do, they move with the currents because they are zooplankton. Okay. Again, that's. Plankton that actually is an uh, animal. You have plankton and you got zooplankton. Plankton is like plant material stuff. Zooplankton is animal, okay? My, all, both of them are microscopic. Um, some jellies can't swim at all. They simply float in the water. Uh, they get carried wherever the currents go. Others can swim, but again, we talked about not strong enough that they can overcome the current. They can, if they're in calm water, they can kind of propel themselves but not enough that they're gonna overcome the currents, okay? Uh, they do lack, and this is, they found this quite interesting. Uh, jellyfish lacks a backbone, a heart, brain, blood, a nervous system. So they're not a true fish. Uh, rather, they are a simple floating mouth and intestines housed in a see-through skeleton muscle filled with fluid called, what was it? Mesolingia. They call me a there you go. That's a GF. Over 93% water. So this gives it the buoyancy that it needs and it aids in food storage. Okay? Despite the fact that jellyfish don't have brains to possess, uh, process visual information, they do have eyes. I know. Weird little creature. Okay? They can detect light from dark. Now this is what Ellie brought up. Ellie's like, wait a minute, they don't have a brain. What is telling it? <laughs> What's processing this? <laughs> Good question. Okay. <laughs> this allows jellyfish to discern up from down, which is kind of important, okay, uh, for those that can swim. They, they know whether or not, the darker it gets, obviously, the deeper into water they're going. The lighter it gets, the more closer to the surface they're coming, okay? Uh, jellyfish can be as small as the tip of your finger with teeny tiny little tentacles or they can be as large as a huge patio umbrella what? okay they can be uh, with tentacles that dangle, dangles a hundred feet or better in length behind them okay yeah you're gonna find those uh, obviously in the more Further out, you don't you don't find those floating around the shorelines. Uh, those are more in these deep waters. Okay. Uh, jellyfish tend to congregate in swarms. Okay. So they are yeah they're in swarms. Think about bees. You have a y'all need to stop talking. Okay. Bees travel. They, you know they, they, when when a bunch of bees are coming, it's a swarm of bees. All right, so these guys are the same thing. They're, they're in swarms, okay? Now, these swarms are called smacks. I don't know who named these, okay? A smack can be my, whoever named them never taught sixth grade. Because every year when I say smack, I ha always have four or five people going, smack, smack. All right, here we go. So these, these swarms are called smacks. A smack can be miles long and contain thousands and thousands of these creatures. When a smack gets that large, it is known as a jellyfish bloom. Oh, I was going to be called a giant smack. Yeah, a jellyfish a bloom. Wait, hey, so we go from a swarm to a smack to a bloom. Yeah. Man, that's like a. All right. You like that? It's adorable. All right. It's a jellyfish in its natural. All right. Now. Oh, blue one. You've got some that stings. You got some that do not sting. Okay. The ones that sting, you want you to stay away from. And since most of you can't tell the difference, stay away from all of them. Okay. You do not want to take one of these home as a pet. Okay. It doesn't doesn't work out. All right. The Portuguese man of war, these guys are probably the most, one of the most deadly ones out there, if not the most deadly. Uh, he is uncommon. Shh. 
He is uncommon off the Carolina coast, okay? Uh, what do you think that means? He's uncommon off the Carolina coast. Yeah, you don't see him very often off the Carolina coast. Doesn't mean he's not there. Okay, but he's not the one that you see primarily when you're when you're there. I mean, you will find them washed up on the beach, but they're rare. They're a little bit more rare to find in off our coast. Yes. I saw him in those mass station last summer. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not. It doesn't say they're not there. Okay. Okay. It's kind of like this time of year finding a sixth grader that is paying attention. It's very uncommon. Okay. Doesn't mean it's not happening, but it is uncommon. So there, there's true dealers. See how it works. Parker Jackson. There, there was like a guy in Australia that got stung and he died like literally 15 years. Everything in Australia can yeah. kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Even though you can it. I'm serious. It's Rats. like everything. I feel bad for all They got oh, coconut crabs. Crabs. Oh, They got coconut crabs that are like this big that will eat people. They got kangaroos. They do have kangaroos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. All right. You know, instead of everybody celebrating, maybe we should have a moment of silence for the gentleman in Australia. Okay? I bet you. All right. So he ranges near the Gulf Stream. Uh, he's about 10 inches. He's a sky blue bag is filled with gas. Okay, so he's a little different. The winds will nudge this colony of jellies across the waves, so many will invade at once. Okay, so if you got one, you will see more than one. Okay, they usually there's a bunch of them traveling together most of the time. Okay. Uh, again, he is not a true jellyfish, but they have to put him in a category somewhere. Uh, so they, they put him, that's where they put him. You notice all the fish, what happens to these fish here? Swims up and tries to go through his tentacles, and that's when he gets them. I dare you to go through yeah, and they, I mean, of course, he, he can kill them. He will eat them. He probably thinks it's grass. Okay, probably. Oh, well, yeah, I feel confident. Okay. All right, sea nettles are very common in August. Okay, if you've ever noticed, if you go to the beach, you try to get that last trip in before school starts. A lot of times when you hit the beach, you, 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 get, you get, you're inundated with... It's a smack. Yeah, it's it's yeah. terrible. Okay, because the water is warmer. And it gets, it gets the water is warmer, and you get you, you get more jellyfish coming in. Then uh, not always, but a lot. One year we couldn't even get in the water because it was just filled. Like yep. everyone was just. Yep. All right. As the they hatch, the young hatch about eighty degree waters. Uh, sea nettles have white medusa. Uh, that's the umbrella, and tentacles that drapes about three feet. Uh, and if you get stung by one of them, it. The, the markings will last, it can last up to three weeks. So it's not like you're stung one afternoon and by the next day, yeah, it hurts really bad. But then the next day, you, ne you don't even know you were stung. Is you're that gonna, what we get stung by? Yeah, you're gonna have the markings on, on your legs or arms or wherever you get stung. For about three, it doesn't mean it's gonna hurt for three weeks, but you're gonna have that, that mark where you is it, you. is it like is it like always like activated like it, it'll sting if you just bump into it or do like they feel it and then they yeah they, they wrap the tentacles around you oh yeah. like they feel you and then they do yeah. so they yeah. can control when they see you. hey we got a good question right here Hart wants to know if if you just walk by and you kind of bump one but you moved on does it sting no he actually what happens is he feels you the pressure, the water pressure changes. He feels you, and he'll he thinks it's something to eat, so he'll reach out and get you. Yeah, he, he's actually he's actually trying to get you when you get stung by him. It's not a oh I'm playing I'm playing and you accidentally bump into one. Of course, you bump into one, he's gonna probably sting you because he felt you coming. Okay, all right, the sea wasp. Oh my gosh. Okay, he is also known as the box jelly. You kind of see, he, he's a little bit more squared off instead of the umbrella look. He's a little more squared off. Um, so he is known as a box jelly. Uh, you're going to see some of these at the aquarium. They've got a number of tanks, little tanks, with different types of jellyfish in them. Uh, they're really 
they're, they're really a pretty creature to look at as long as they're in a glass cage and you don't have to worry about getting stung. Uh, okay. They have tentacles that dangle from four corners of a box-like body. Uh, these firm jellies arrive in April through July. And again, this guy is not a true jellyfish. Okay, but he falls into that category once again. Okay. Okay. And this is the lion's mane. This is the big boy. Um, the, pic the picture doesn't do him justice. I've got, I've got some pictures where you've got a guy scuba diving beside him. And it, the body of this thing is bigger than he is. Uh, it's pretty huge. Bigger than a human? Yeah. All right. Uh, the lion's mane jellyfish arrives, uh, arrivals the blue whale as the longest animal in creation. Okay, remember the blue whale's 100 feet long. Now, his body's not that big. His tentacles can be really, really long. Okay. Uh, it has tentacles that can reach, uh, can be over 100 feet long. However, okay, you don't have to worry about this guy. Uh, you're probably not going to encounter him unless you spend time in the deepest parts of the oh, yeah, ocean off the coast oh, oh, oh. of That's Japan. where we go for summer. Okay. Okay. This is what Godzilla eats. <laughs> yeah. For breakfast. Yeah, this is what we eat. Uh, so yeah. When he catches you. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he, he's, pretty, he's pretty big, dude. Okay. <laughs> All right. I tell you oh, yeah, what. Let's uh. All right, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch. We'll stop there for today. We'll stop there for today. Stop talking, please. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll cover the rest of it tomorrow. We got some film we're gonna watch right now. Okay. That way. That way you'll have time because the notes. Okay. Uh, if you look in Headmaster, I graded your notes a little bit harder last time. If you do not have something on everything, I, might, I knock points off. Okay? I'm giving you timing. Okay, we're going to watch some film. You got time. To, you will have more than enough time to work on your notes. You really fine tune them. Same thing tomorrow. Okay? So there's no excuse for you to hand me four sentences. And you think that that's worth 25 points on notes, okay? Okay, that's, that, that, that's not good notes. Okay, some of, you, some of you are doing excellent notes. Some of you, if you had to study by your notes, you wouldn't be able to, truthfully. And that's the whole idea of this, this little exercise, is to help you understand the better way to take notes, okay? Okay? All right. Short and sweet, and I will include the videos that we watched in today in class, and then we will wrap this up tomorrow. So you're only going, you're going down to where it says jellyfish to safe, then you can stop your reading and uh, pick up tomorrow. Okay, bye.